for stopping by. Today we're cooking risotto. One of my favorite things to cook in the restaurant, one of my favorite things to cook at home because it's so easy to do, you'd be surprised. There are really just four main things you need for risotto. You need arborio rice, you need butter, you need parmigiano reggiano, and you need white wine. If you have those four, and the technique, which I'm gonna show you in a moment, you'll be able to make risotto any which way. So grab your apron and grab your knives and uh, let's get cooking. Things in risotto are typically bite size. So we'll go like this. Maybe we'll put a little bit of a bias on it just to kind of give it a little bit of flair. Okay, for my risotto, I'm gonna use some, uh, some shallot. I'm gonna go with about a half a shallot. Right, this makes perfect. We'll do uh, one clove of garlic. So, celery, same thing, we're trimming it. Leaves for the stock, nice stalks for the risotto. I'm gonna do a little bite size. So, put uh, like that in thirds. And then we're gonna come back around like this. Great, so this guy gave it a light rinse. Uh, any kind of not so nice pieces, I'll pull it off again in the stock. For the risotto. You can see we've got our rice. We've got all our vegetables cut up. The asparagus, shiitake mushroom, the cremini mushroom, shallots and garlic, the celery, the scallions. Still got the parmigiana and all that kind of stuff. That'll be last minute. And then you can see we've got everything cut to make a quick vegetable stock for the risotto, which I'll put on right now. Again, you don't need to do this. You could easily buy a vegetable stock in the whole. Cool, so we've made it now. We're gonna make some risotto. So I've got uh, beautiful homemade vegetable stock simmering back here. Keeping it hot, you need hot stock for this. So extra virgin olive oil for this application. Okay, asparagus in the pan. A little salt and pepper. We're gonna take it out right now because you want the asparagus to still have a little bite at the end when you add it to the risotto. We've got a little residual oil left in there. We'll add a splash more olive oil. One more tablespoon. Our beautiful mushrooms, right? Cremini's shiitake blend. Here we go. Great, so the mushrooms are starting to look a little bit cooked like this. So, you know, there's different ways to cook mushrooms. This isn't a real pan-roasted mushroom we're going for here. It's kind of a little bit of a stewed mushroom. So, um, it's okay if they sweat a little bit. We'll add a little salt and pepper to them now. Oh, nice. Um, now, we're gonna go in with our shallots and our garlic. Ooh, that smells so nice. dash of dried thyme to my mushrooms. Mushrooms just love thyme. So because those shallots and garlic were uh, cut so finely, they're cooked. They cook pretty quickly. And with the celery. So you got your mushrooms, your celery, your shallots, your asparagus, your reserved on the side, your hot stock heated up. Now we're ready for the start of the show. The rice. The rice will like triple in volume too, you'll see. So, so now we're getting into the really critical stages. So you've got your rice in your um, your saltoile pan, um, steep slope. You want your rice to cook a little bit in the pan until it's kind of loses its chalkiness and looks um, a little bit translucent, so to speak. But you don't want to put color on it. So low heat, just kind of move the rice around a little bit. This is going to take probably three to five minutes. This is very, very important to, uh, for your rice to cook evenly when you make a risotto. Great, you can see I've been cooking the rice for a few minutes to remove some of that chalkiness I was talking about. So it's got a little bit more of a cooked look to it. Now we're ready for the white wine. I'm using like a cup and a half here. Um, and you're gonna cook the white wine until it's dry, until it's cooked out. 
Okay, so we've added the wine. When most of the wine is cooked out in your, in your rice, looking something like that. Still got a little liquid, not too much. So we're gonna go in with our stock. So wine is cooked down, veggie stock, homemade veggie stock. You're gonna add enough just to cover it. One myth about risotto is that you need to stir it the whole time for 20 to 30 minutes until the rice is cooked. You need to add the stock, put it on low heat, and stir it periodically. But stirring is what's gonna bring out the starch and really make it creamy, and you're not looking to do that until the last third of the cooking process. All right, so risotto, first batch. Most of the liquid is gone. Let's go on with the second batch of liquid. So, same thing, hot stock. We're gonna cover it. Still on that second batch of uh, liquid. You can give it a stir, again, periodically, just to make sure that nothing is scorching or burning and stuff, but we're not doing the vigorous stir just yet. Wait for it. All right. We are ready for the last batch of stock. Give or take, sometimes it takes a fourth batch, but you can see, look how much the rice has expanded already. And that was at eight ounces of rice, half a pound. So, more stock. This stock is almost reduced. Your risotto is basically there. You, we're gonna taste it and see. Sometimes it needs a little bit more stock, but if the rice is there, then we're gonna go in with the asparagus, the butter, the parmesan, a little bit of lemon juice to brighten it up. So in with your asparagus. Give it a nice stir. Again, we'll give it a splash of stock so it's able to move, as I mentioned. You can see I shut off the heat too. I just, I'm not trying to cook it much more. Asparagus, mushroom, beautifully cooked rice. And now, the secret, the star of the show. Cold butter. Not really a secret, I guess, but this is important. You need lots of butter and it needs to be cold. Cold butter emulsifies better into anything. A beurre blanc, and in this instance, a risotto. So. Lots of butter. Do not be cheap on the butter. We're gonna add a lot of Parmesan now, a lot of Parmesan cheese. Risotto was not created to be a healthy dish. <laughs> if you're trying to make it healthy, um, you got the wrong dish here. You should be making a quinoa bowl or something. Nice and creamy, that's what we want. Let's plate it up. Give it a little shake. You want it to be able to move like that. Remember I chopped some, uh, some scallions, sprinkle some of those on top. You decide to chop a little parsley too. Maybe a little drizzle of olive oil just to kind of cap it off. And that's it, my friends. Risotto at home, super easy to make. 